they are going on everybody they are going on good people hey man say man so if you watched the last video you already know what's going on if you didn't watch it go watch it but this video is gonna be a little different so as you can probably tell by the title this is just five quick things that we hated about this truck <laughs> Five quick things, and we're not just gonna tell y'all, we're gonna actually demonstrate. We're gonna demonstrate. Can I do number one? You wanna do number one? Oh, let me do number one. All right, number one, let's get to it. All right. What's number one, baby? Number one. Whenever you're just casually walking, you know, this. What is that? Bothers the heck out of us. Then, then when it snatches, it snatches like at the root. It don't just pull this a little bit, it snag at the root. Like, look at this. Look at that. They get stuck, bro. That's number one. Number one is the privacy curve. <sighs> even even on the sides for the windows, those get stuck to our hair too. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like this. Not like this. Okay. But yeah, get that's stuck my to our pet head. peeve. Especially when it gets stuck to the root. Like you oh said, when it gets God. stuck at the top. It hurts so bad. Oh my goodness. Because you're minding your business, you might be walking fast and it just snap you back like that. We'd be like, bro. <laughs> be for real. Alright, going on number two. Number two, the second thing we had about this truck, let me move this out the way so y'all can see. It's got to be the refrigerator, man. I'm gonna show y'all why. You saw that? Like, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's, it's closed, it, it should be closed. Oh, it gave me a little tension that time. Tension. It gave me a little tension that time. But look how easy like it does not close so any little bump turn whatever everything in the refrigerator come flying out we be like dude now we gotta stop put look at that you saw me just slamming and it didn't close like that's terrible hate this refrigerator man like i should i should this the only way this refrigerator should open i should pull this boom it opened nicely I shouldn't, it's supposed to be latch. I shouldn't be able to just do that. That should happen. So that's number two. So, number three, the third thing that we hate about this truck is the fact that it does not have a glove compartment. I don't know why that bothers us so much. I really don't. But the simple fact that it's not a glove compartment here, for whatever reason, just it's odd. Odd. Yeah, it's odd. Instead, you can pull all this off. Like, <laughs> like come on, man. It ain't number tab. And I mean, I guess that's obviously that's probably why it don't have a glove compartment. Yeah. Because you got your cabin filter, which looks like it needs to be changed now. Oh, it is time for this truck to have its PMs. Here, you all right. But yeah, that's number three. The fact that it don't have a glove compartment, man. I feel like they could have extended it. Nah. Then probably be killing leg room. I don't know. They should have did something. It should have been a glove compartment. Let, let's put this back. All right. The fourth thing that we hate about this truck. You hear the squeaking? No, let me make sure they hear the squeaking. Hold on. Let me turn it down. I hope. I hope they hear it. I, I hear. It. I definitely hear. It. Yeah. The squeaking and the bouncing. It got to go. Suspension terrible. Terrible. The Tragic. ride is so rough, man. So just overall for number four is the suspension, man. Terrible. The bouncing, the rough ride. Everything. The squeaking of the suspension. It's crazy you can even hear the squeaking from the inside of the vehicle. Exactly. It's even it's even worse outside. Matter of fact, got y'all right here. Keep, start bouncing, man. Keep on bouncing. Y'all hear that? It's something. It's terrible, man. That's so aggravating. And obviously they're not gonna replace it because it's technically not bad. So you said it's not what? It's technically not bad. Like they it's just because it's squeaking, they're not gonna replace it. That's what I was just telling them. So number four what is suspension. They bad? Man, I don't know. I guess not supporting it or something. I don't know. Maybe it do need to be replaced. That's probably why the ride feels so rough as it is. Right. I don't know them. Right. Say it again, boo. That's Number five. The fifth thing and the last thing that we hate about this truck is that. Right. Right. 
it does not have armrests on the left side for whatever reason I, i'm not sure why even on the passenger side which honestly when you sit in the passenger seat you don't even really think about it when that much driving? but when you driving and you want to rest your arms rest the one here and then have another armrest on this side it bothers us because we've both been in other trucks that has an armrest on both sides of the seat so that bothers us so much because let me show you take that bag show y'all what, what 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 it looked like when sitting here come in front of me if you can so they can see me so say for instance we driving right i'm resting my arm here i have it up a little bit that how i like mine rest the one here and the other one where i could have here we got to sit it all the way up here <laughs> and this gets so uncomfortable like look at the sh look at the shoulder angle look at the shoulder angle that is super uncomfortable especially when you driving for hours at a time so that is definitely number five man they it's not an armrest on the left side of the seat for whatever stupid reason so yeah now y'all see the craziness of this truck yeah them the five things we hate man and obviously we, we don't just completely hate the truck all together now we're not gonna make a separate video about what we love but one thing that i can certainly say for both of us is the space definitely it's, it's definitely spacious if it's nothing else it's spacious because as y'all know if you didn't know we had a 40 inch tv in the back yeah. more than enough storage and cabinetry for obviously two people and then I, we just use a top bunk in storage too so that is like the number one thing we do like about the truck obviously being two people in the truck we want as much space as possible and as far as any tractors semi trucks big trucks whatever you want to call them that i've been in this is by far the most spacious now obviously that does not compare to like no super sleeper or nothing like that man that's that's a different no, echelon no, right no, there give me one of them <laughs> for <laughs> real no nah, for real for real so yeah man that was it like i said just a quick video because it's something that we just felt adamant about yeah especially those first two. Oh my goodness <laughs> them first two drivers crazy Thanks. number one I'll be ready to fight. Be ready to fight. Be ready to fight. For real. Dead serious. Mm -mm. Man. But yeah. So y'all this... comment down below. Sorry. Y'all comment down below which one y'all think would bother y'all the most. Which one would be y'all biggest pet peeve? Oh, that's a good one. Definitely. Yep. Definitely do that. <laughs> I feel like anybody that got hair one would have to be your biggest pet peeve, bro. Yep. Cause getting your hair stuck on it, oh, it's it, especially Not even that getting it on there. Just just when they yank it, like it's so annoying man when it gets stuck on there period i don't care especially like when you first get up in the morning or something or you leaning <laughs> yeah. over to get something out the refrigerator and you can't get up and we got we got long hair but even even still because like it's been times it get attached to that roof yeah it's been several times man that yeah. ain't no joke so yeah def definitely do what Bay said that's, <laughs> that's a good one. let us let us know down below man for us one is by far that's why it's one <laughs> With the tip of the top, babe. For real. Goodness gracious. That's it. But yeah, last video in the freight line of Cascadia, man. Bye. It's been a good one. Yeah. And we gonna end it just like that. We not even gonna end this like a traditional vlog. We just gonna cut it right there. So, tune in to the next video, cause baby gonna be a breed. <laughs> we going on a cruise. <laughs> Catch us on the ship. Right, peace. Deuces. <laughs> Yeah.